Good morning friends, welcome to the live stream for today. So today it's important to note the key levels. 24,846.5 is the Nifty resistance and 24,900p can be traded or even 24,800. That's expensive. Coming off this resistance, the downside targets will be 24,745, 24,685, 24,604. 24,745 is the key support for the day. For Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty is actually trading above resistance. So this is at the first target. So we expect we can expect a negative turn from here for 56.11, So this level, then Nifty should take. So I have taken 24.900 put and 50.600 put. 24.800 is a very good support. I will tail in and out. So in Nifty chart, if you can see, there's a beautiful bearish hangman created and uh, now we are getting a confirmation candle for that. Here also it's same. There's a hangman and then there's a bearish candle being formed. So at the end of this time frame of 15 minutes, we will know for sure that Nifty is already headed to our target. So the 245 <laughs> and 172 are the targets for nifty puts and if you are on the 24800 put then the targets are 181 and 196 bank nifty is looking positive because it's trading so our resistance level is 24611 sorry 50611 so it opened itself much above that level that's that level and then it has gone up again so but it, this is a long supply i keep telling about this thing over here right this is a long supply so only after this supply is taken out we can and there is another supply zone here so only about 51600 we can we should think about bank nifty long till then whenever the opportunity comes we should be shorting it and the other one stock that i have in mind for the october series is iex disclaimer i have position so look for a hourly negative candle and look for a 180 put or something like that or in the money depending on your risk appetite so i have uh, taken some puts and i'm holding them not a trade recommendation just uh, to study the charts so in the daily chart you can see that it made a big bearish engulfing it went sideways for one two three four five six seven days and yesterday it had a breakdown again and normally then the consolidation happens like this. so it's a bear flag and it has broken down so the target is around once it yesterday's low is broken you'll get target of around 165 so that's it but the target will be activated only below yesterday's low which is at 197.2 this is the bonus so meanwhile nifty and bag nifty are proceeding nicely and achieving our targets one by one nifty has the risk of staying in this channel and as it gets broken on one side so we have had one two looking for a third touch here and probably break down from there hopefully for us or it can just burn touch here and then go up that's also a possible one two three four five and break down or five and then break up but it looks everything points us to downside so we will hold it and if has done its targets one for the thousand uh sorry twenty four thousand eight hundred put and for twenty four thousand nine hundred put both have done the first targets i said 245 right so i made is 241 so just it's about made it not, not yet so this means that it can possibly go to 273 as the next step and nifty target will be if it breaks down then we can expect this put to give us oh, 50 percent or 75 percent if it breaks if bang nifty breaks. so we have got this touch here so please cover maximum here great profit to start the day and then let's wait if it breaks down this channel it could just zoom back from here so be careful because um bang nifty is giving other signs so i'm exiting the bang nifty put for now let's see later and book profit and book full profit in nifty now you'll see once it breaks down because this is a very bullish setup in bank nifty but then there is supply so we are not trading long in bank nifty right now the signal is not bearish so we'll wait remember bank nifty is trading way above its supposed resistance level and it is target trading above first target and the second target is 59.63 nifty support is at 24.75 nifty reversed from its resistance of 24.846 and we have made close to on the 24.9 900 put in 209 and sold at 240 on 31 points on the uh, 24800 put for at 164 and sold uh, near my sort 189 189 i traded the 24900 and bank nifty so we have a supply bar in nifty as well there is a beautiful supply bar here and here also market can encounter resistance also remember we had big red candles yesterday so we can mark the 50 percent and see where the resistance can come from so bank nifty so it's almost at our magic level 59.63 this is at 51 59.95 level and if you go to nifty and do the same thing this is at 24.892 level but i think nifty won't go there let's see so 24.892 if it makes a resistance we we have our another level of 24.906 just there so kind of uh pretty close bank nifty is really really close and bank nifty's hit our resistance level next target level second tar final target level actually so bank nifty is putting in an impressive performance today nifty is making a 
bullish candle well since there is a supply area here i am not inclined once this crosses this high and makes suspense some time there and then gives a breakout i will trade it otherwise the area is very much resistance built so bank nifty at crucial resistance 51 59.95 to 56.963 is our expectation nifty is 24 885 something our level is 24 906 that's so from 59.63 bank nifty got a shock so nifty now trying to trade above its resistance of 24.846 let's see if it's able to close so we have done the pony trade and then we'll try see if we can get one more awesome trade which like 100 points that's sorry bank nifty 58.99 we're 59.98 point 59.92 is the fibonacci level 50 percent so let's see and here bank nifty i'm just look, taking yesterday's candle because yesterday's candle was extraordinary so 50 percent is 24 9 1 9 and 0 0.6 0 0.382 actually is 24 8 6 which is where nft is right so nft is crossing the first 3.382 and is now headed to 24 9 1 9 good chance if in 21 24 9 0 7 is our resistant next target so now i have to create new targets for bank nft right because it's crossed all the targets that i had so next is 51 152 and 51 36 if it doesn't reverse anything let's see if it crossed 51 152 and 51 36 let's be expect a turn from here whichever time frame smaller time frame you catch the good as i said we will go long only after the big shadows are crossed and then a consolidation happens there not in favor of doing a long before that so wherever we get a short opportunity look at nifty here it's uh, turning out to be a very good short candidate as of now wait for two minutes the current high is not crossed and that comes a reversal from here and then we'll go all the way down to the days Trigger on already got too much. I don't know why the trigger came so late. Unless it's a good trade. Okay, so let's see. Turning go oh, and Nifty is resolved nicely. So this is what I meant. And I expect a similar candle in Nifty. If Nifty is not giving up, then we should not trade in that. We need to come down. Nifty near 20, 24, 8 types. Bank Nifty is reversing around its 50% retracement level. Nifty is retracing around its 38% retracement level. Maybe there is one more push pending in Nifty. We never know. So Nifty made a nice spinning top I don't think it's a harami quite clearly not a harami spinning tops will need confirmation otherwise they can they're known to provide a lot of false signals yeah, that's what I so nifty is making a nice shooting star and bank nifty is going to break this low so let it break this low and trade for one minute low of 28.58.55 then we can enter we'll use the same puts no need to change anything okay so 5600 put on bank nifty once it breaks 5800 and trades below then I expect it to come down to 56 alone nifty is not yet a shot need to wait nifty is not yet a shot because of this kind right so it will try to go keep going back to 24 880 once it, this thing is resolved that is that will be resolved probably let's see the 50 percent of this candle below 24 841 but we can short right here below this 24 852 24 846 yes wow what a jump in bang nifty p 314 uh, 24 900 and 56 and these the target is very simple we are going to look at 24 745 target first and here 56 silver is target first and if we get a fast fall then we can hold down for bigger targets <laughs> the bang nifty is at the morning support area here goes bang nifty should go to 360 should should uh, we have a breakdown so this guy is exactly different support let's see 2846 was resistance before will it act as a support now we'll know in this case similarly 5755 has been the opening level is it going to support there or not we'll find out in this case so i'm hoping for a big freaking red candle here which can break this low and give us our 100 points if comments super sir love the live commentaries thanks for me thanks builder i appreciate it thank you very much watch this stock guys ei hotel it's not falling at all at all at all so if we look at daily chart so i've been tracking the stock for quite a number of days but i'm not making any positions because of the market environment but these are the stocks that you should keep a watch add it to your watch list and keep when the market improves these will be the ones which will run so for example before i think it was first quarter last year or second quarter i don't know exactly when the market was correcting masdoc coaching shipyard all were holding very strong so and then as we all know in the next rally that came those stocks outperformed so i'm not advocating buy right now we'll wait that the market gets sorted first and then we'll see. a very high 
Spotify pops on 24900p for getting a century. Uh, well, close to century 90, 90. doesn't spoil the plans like last time. Let me see if it's gonna spoil. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 24, hmm. touch and go, touch and go. The 24800p, 24900c, 24500p, 24800c. So 24800c, oh, I need to pick up for us to crash. So today I will be investing in um, fund. Lump sum investment. This is the Motilal Oswal Nifty 200 Momentum 30 Fund. Right, so it's very risky. What does high risk mean? It means that the investors understand that the principal will be at very high risk, and investors understand that okay, so the benchmark itself is very risky. So, naturally, scheme derived out of that will be very risky. So, now what is the index that it tracks? It tracks the Nifty 200, and from that, they use a momentum strategy to derive the Nifty 200 Momentum 30 is a index itself and this fund just tracks the index so i want to get today's niv ideally so i will be putting in pumping in a huge amount here uh this is not my full amount but one third of my amount so this is for long term uh, as you can see it's uh, only been one year that has enlisted so i'm given a return of kyber of 68.3 good morning Amit. thanks builder for, for the events uh i don't see anything which is during market time right it's all for or oh, tomorrow is rbi mpc Decision. okay that's why there is no movement in bank nifty cool i understand compared to nifty but we are making a beautiful move in nifty hope hope breaks this low and then it should it should give us so the target dream target is 283 on 24 900 p okay that will give 100 plus points that's a dream time not saying it will come okay i'm selling out the mutual fund so i'm just sharing that one now so this is the one so this fund is called so there are various uh, organizations or asset management companies which provide this fund so there's no specific reason for choosing Motilal uh, because it is a uh, tracking the index so it doesn't matter only you need to check for the charges portfolio is Trent, Tata Motors, NTPC, Bajaj Auto, Bharati Airtel, Call India, Adani Ports, Bharat Airtel, all these companies are love especially Trent. I don't know if you saw my tweet two days back and it's rocking so <clears throat> this set of stocks this is the index itself so it's not due for I think it was rebalanced already so that's no problem yeah. and there is the yeah this is the risk to so this fund manager has is there one of the star managers who's managing most of the index funds okay you can get the fact sheet presentation all all here it's just go to any amc that if you are interested so this is a, this is different it's a strategy so such things were unheard of before in the nsc so nsc is creating a lot of strategic indexes like value quality stuff like that so so i when that in my research this particular index was, came out as a really stand out winner so i am expecting the trend to continue and for long term so that's it okay now let's go back to chat yeah, yeah it's uh, motilal just go to motilal oswal mf.com and search for momentum and you'll get all the momentum funds right i mean i'm in no way involved with motilal oswal i'm not promoting them so you can go to nsc india look at nsc indices if you go to strategy indices section you can see that there are many many strategies so growth is a strategy quality is a strategy dividend is a strategy Alpha as a strategy, equal weight is a strategy, and so volatility is a strategy. And we are talking about Nifty 200 momentum, which is not even coming here. Okay. Nifty 200 momentum index. This is the index, right? And there are several funds which are tracking this index. See, these are the list of funds which are tracking this index. Right? Aditya Birla, HDFC, ICSA, and Motilal as well. I have experience with all of them, and all of them are good companies. And for some reason, I chose Motilal as well. I don't know why. And we have more companies sorry bandhan uti kodak mahindra so a lot of lot of guys are now on this which means that there is a lot of liquidity indeed but this would be a better place to do your research and then choose the one which has the least expense ratio that's it and least tracking error so this is the website niftyindices.com this is the nse website so the fund house doesn't make a difference at all it is it is an etf so it's tracking an index fund it's tracking an index so whatever the index return will be the return of the mutual fund whichever company you take the only difference will be one two things one is tracking error one is second one is expense ratio so choose the one with least tracking error least expense ratio and the other so this is not a uh, fund that depends on which amc it is right? i think i chose motilar because it's this uh, around 893 crores AU, and the other one is hdfc i think is the biggest so 
no problem. So it doesn't matter whichever AMC you take. That's why I said I have no relation to Motila as well. Okay, so bank nifty is falling now and nifty is going up. Let's be patient and wait for that big candle. Oh, 2846 is such a 24846 is such a magnet coming back. I hope the magnet pulls it 24, 7, 45, 24, 85. Bank nifty trading below 5800 should logically, logically, logically cut 7755, which is our support level now and go to 5611. I think 5611 should be done whether or not our VI meeting is tomorrow. Nifty has other plans to set some of it. A broad range seems to be 24900 to 24800 today. So now this is going to hit 24906 and then come back. So it looks like an option seller's day. So I will exit at my cost, cost, my cost down. Just waiting. I'm, I'm exiting here, guys. We'll see later when we get a, if we get a signal. Because if it's going to be this range, then it's going to waste our time and money. So we've made a good profit on the first trade and not lost on the second trade. So wait. So no trades now. Hey, friends, time to end the stream. Anything? No trade, no trade on. Good, good, good nice so i was hoping to get 100 points in nifty i got zero points so that's it first trade gave me good money and that's it i'm winding up for now so i trade between 9 30 to 10 30 and then i log in again at 11 30 and then in the afternoon at 1 30 so i split my logins like that and in between i keep some triggers and if any of the triggers uh, show up then i join as well so folks thank you so much for joining and please remember 24900 24800 seems to be a range today and it will not break so easily looks like they want to keep it sideways today so let's not fight with the market and be happy with what we got in the morning that's it so i will not be there tomorrow i need to take my son to doctor so i will see you all on thursday now with the nifty expiry okay. have fun thank you builder thank you for joining thanks for your participation as well and sharing your levels and trades very very nice so bye bye take care Yes, Mr. I'm here to punch. Oh no! Oh, you didn't wake up and punch, man. Don't punch to hurt, okay? Don't punch to hurt. I'm my daddy. I'm not your enemy. Yeah? You do all this in real boxing, okay? Yeah? I am Kabil. Pure Mahin. Yeah.